Now, you mentioned Floyd Mayweather, one of your favorite fighters. And from the mind of a fighter, do you think Floyd will return for a 50th bout? Man. I'd be probably be a rich man if I could predict where Floyd Mayweather was going to be next. I have no idea. He, he's, he's, he's earned the right to do whatever he wants to do. Personally, I would like to see the competitive side wants to see him break the record. But being a lifelong fan of the sport, not lifelong, being a fan since I've been about 10 years old, you know. I would like to see him go out like this because we don't get to see this. We typically see the sport retire fighters, True. not the other way around. So I would love to see him go off like this and, and people never get to see him in a situation that, that, that a lot of haters want to see him in, bleeding on the canvas, hurt, too old, some young guy having to show him that he doesn't have. I, I, if he could avoid that situation, and not to say that it would be that if he came back, but you know how we all get old, man, and it's, you know, on in your by terms. the time is undefeated. So I would love to see him go away like this, but he's reserved the right to do whatever he wants to do. And he's smart. You know, he knows how much he has left in the tank. What about you, Andre? You're in the middle of it right now, but do you ever step back and say, okay, here's my master plan, here's when I want to step away, and can I do that same thing, retire and defeat it? I think that's every fighter's dream is to walk away on their own terms. That's, I think that's every athlete's dream is to walk away on their own terms. And I think it's a situation where you just know. That's what I hear from athletes who have done it, uh, not just in boxing. They say, you know, and I think the key is just just listening to that voice. When that moment comes, now you got a decision to make. So you're not at that moment though. Nah, not yet. not yet. I got a little bit more work to do. Got a couple years to make up. You know the, the Super Six and 168. You look at that like it's the first phase of your career, and now this fight, the second one with Rock Nation, first at 175, like it just, it's the next chapter, kind of. I would say the Super Six is probably the middle phase. The middle phase. Yeah. Um, it's a lot to get to that point. A lot to get to that point. So uh, I had to work my way up through the ranks like everybody else. You know, in one slip up, there would be no Super Six. You know, there'd have been no title shot. If I would have slipped up in the Edison Miranda fight, would have been no Kessler. Would have been no Super Six. So that that was the that was the middle part, and uh, this is the back stretch. Last couple questions. How does it feel to be the last one standing or just still predominantly on top after the Super Six and you can see some of your other buddies, you know, that was in the Super Six with you, how they're doing? Man, it's a good thing, but, you know, I, don't, I try not to put too much stock in that because I know how hard the sport is mm -hmm. on, on every kind of level, you know, whether you're a top guy or whether you're a contender or just an opponent. So, you know, I try not to put too much stock in that in terms of, you know, taking pride in that. I'm just thankful, man, for the longevity. Uh, I'm just thankful to still be around and uh, still be, you know, at the top of my game, it's a blessing. To Floyd Mayweather, you know, again, boxing is a treacherous business, it's hard. But Floyd always made boxing look fun. And I appreciate that. I appreciate how you dealt with your big moments, bro. I know you had a lot of pressure on you. You put some of it on yourself because you told him what you was gonna do. And you had swag with it, and you didn't bite your tongue. So that brought more pressure, but the whole world, I don't say the whole world, a lot of people wanted to see you get beat. Because everybody says they love a winner, but that's not true. When you win a long time, mm. people want to see you get beat just to see what's going to happen. I appreciate your dedication to the game, bro. Introducing Super Thanks right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, 
to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a super thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hybrid Nation 5s by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it.